John Englander is an oceanographer and an expert on climate change. He's also the author of High Tide on Main Street, Rising Sea Level and the Coming Coastal Crisis. Thank you so much, John, for joining us. As you might have heard Leeling mentioned in her report, plastic pollution in particular, huge threat to the world's oceans. So how does, in general, that affect marine ecosystems and how in turn does that impact us here on Earth? Both at the macro level of the physical plastic we see uh, polluting or clogging rivers and beaches all over the world today, and it's also the microplastics, uh, even things like styrofoam coffee cups uh, can break down into really small particles, almost invisible, and that's getting into the food chain. Fish are now ingesting that and it's working its way up the food chain into the flesh of fish we eat. So it's both the visible and the almost invisible plastics. And there's more and more of it every year. Another thing that Leeling mentioned is overfishing, that being a big threat to oceans. What can countries do to ease that impact? Well, the world population, of course, keeps growing. And more people understand that seafood is a very healthy form of protein. So our take from the oceans is increasing every year. We maxed out in the early 90s, wild seafood stocks were still taking more and more uh, shellfish and non-fish items like sea urchins and uh, uh, sea slugs and anemones. We're also growing more aquaculture, which is a very good sign. We're able to grow that without really burdening the ocean too much. So that's been the biggest growth is mariculture or aquaculture, and that's certainly a good um, uh, reduction of stress on the ocean. But basically we need better regulations. They have to be global because it's so easy for different fishing fleets to get outside of inter, um, you know, regulated waters from one country out into the international waters and um, without oversight take whatever they can. Now let's talk about, let's break this down for our viewers. What are some steps citizens like us can take in our daily lives to, to really make a difference in this? Well, there's a great uh, various efforts for sustainable seafood. There's um, there are several different programs, uh, the Monterey Aquarium in the States. I'm not too sure what's happened in China, but there are different efforts to, to eat sustainable seafood. Species like mahi-mahi, uh, also known as dolphin, is, a, is an easily raised fish. It grows very quickly to eat that as opposed to orange roughy or things which take a hundred years to reach maturity. So we can be informed consumers and eat seafood that's either farm raised or is identified as something that's sustainable. All right, John Englander, live for us from Fort Lauderdale. Thank you so much for your perspective.